appearing in Russia in 2006, the Sanyong Akyon sports pickup truck boasted an automatic transmission, a spring rear suspension and an unexpectedly high price. However, time corrected this shortcoming. The price tag of under $30,000 and critical consumer reviews do not prevent the Korean pickup truck from successfully competing with classmates. What's the secret? Perhaps in an unusual appearance or in the ghost of the Daimler AG concern, which is related to the design of some components and assemblies. Until recently, Sangyong Akyon Sports were equipped only with the 2-liter diesel 144-horsepower turbo engine with a common rail fuel supply system, manufactured under license from Mercedes-Benz. During operation, the engine pleases with its traction characteristics, it is dynamic and unpretentious to weather conditions. However, its high-pressure fuel pump manufactured by Delphi does not perceive low-quality diesel fuel well. This is literally like a sharp knife for him. Starting from the 15,000th run, metal chips from a damaged pump enter the fuel system and cripple the fuel injectors. The problem is signaled by an increasing number of failures during a cold start of the engine and subsequently a complete failure of the engine to start. At the same time, the replacement of an injector or injectors costing from 11,000 to 14,500 rubles. Per piece, the problem can only be solved temporarily. With the recurrence of symptoms, the high-pressure fuel pump and, again, the nozzles are already changing. In the most uninteresting scenario, the disease can also be defeated by replacing the cylinder head. However, that's not all. Due to the inclined position of the engine, the last, fourth nozzle is subject to coking with fuel dirt deposits and firmly sticks to the cylinder head. Attempts to separate the nozzle often lead to irreversible damage and replacement of the assembly. The issue price is about 80,000 rubles. Plus injectors. Particulate matter in the fuel system can also damage the fuel rail and require replacement. A less ruinous, but more common problem is the failure of the accessory drive belt tensioner. It is manifested by a loud whistle and often a clear distortion of the belt. The culprits are mechanical contamination and wear of the tensioner O-rings. The repair will cost about 10,000 rubles, including the belt and tensioner. In various trim levels, a 5-speed mechanics and a 5-speed automatic are available, and in a restyled version, manual transmission 6 and automatic transmission 6. The, the mechanics are reliable and durable. The clutch lives with reasonable operation for at least 60,000 kilometers. Shifting is crisp and springy, but first and second gears are very short, and the rocker handle transmits vibrations, creating some discomfort. The operation of the automatic gearbox does not cause any complaints, acceleration is smooth and dynamic. There is a weak point in the operation of the part-time all-wheel drive system, the vacuum tubes for controlling the wheel hub lockup clutch. Unfortunately, they are subject to frequent mechanical damage and are very sensitive to temperature changes. The front suspension is independent spring, the rear is also spring, but dependent. The design is reliable, proven on Sanyon Carando and Musso. With timely care, syringing, it serves more than 100,000 kilometers. An insidious place is ball joints that can break without showing symptoms of fatigue. Unpleasant surprises can be avoided by timely suspension diagnostics on runs from 40,000 in replacement of suspicious ball joints. Shock absorbers walk about 100,000 kilometers and are relatively inexpensive. The front ones cost about 2,100 rubles. Per piece plus about 3,500 rubles. For work. Rear, about 1,700 rubles. A piece, and replacing both costs 1,500 rubles. When braking hard, a car without cargo and passengers slightly nods and sways, but with a relatively full load, this nuance disappears. The front brakes are ventilated disc brakes, the rear brakes are either disc, in the modification with ABS, or drum. The front pads last less than 30,000 kilometers, the discs are usually twice as large. The interior is quite spacious, of course, there is not much space behind a tall driver, however, compared to classmates, there is more space in Action Sports. As for ergonomics, opinions differ. Some believe that the review due to the wide left pillar leaves much to be desired, many find the abundance of buttons inconvenient, and ergonomics as a whole seem unsuccessful to tall drivers. As for the body, a lot of complaints are caused by the opening and closing of the folding side. You can correct the situation by replacing the mechanism and loops. In conclusion, we note that when using high-quality fuel, the diesel Sangyong Action Sports is inexpensive to operate, well, yes, difficulties are possible, 
but this is the karma of many cars with an extraordinary appearance.